Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome. Today's pick a card reading is an interesting one. We are going to see what does your crush think about you right now. In front of me, I have three different options, each with a different image. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one. Okay, so what does your crush think about you right now? All right, so first let's take a look at the overall energy dynamic. All right, so we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, and because this is about what your crush thinks about you, I'm also seeing that you have stirred feelings within them as well, group one. Okay, so I'm getting a very like new feeling, new connection, as well as like a mutual interest in each other. Okay, so let's take a look at my cards now. Okay, so we start off with my shark card here. So what that tells me is that you guys, you come across like a boss to this person. Okay, straight up, like you could literally be a boss. But what I'm getting even more than that is like how you are, okay? Like you walk into a room confidently. You have like this no-nonsense vibe to you, okay? And I feel like that's what you look for in others, like in friends, in romantic partners. Like you want people who are trying to elevate, okay? So this person sees you as somebody who's, you know, you're working on yourself, you're working on whatever it is that you do for a living or will be doing for a living okay i'm just constantly i'm getting like a very ambitious vibe to you guys and drive okay and i feel like you know it's kind of like if this person is on that same page as you i see it working out like this mutual interest kind of tells me that most likely this person is like that okay i feel like you guys wouldn't even give the time of day to people who aren't like that so there's also a fierceness to you, okay? Because it is, you know, a shark in the ocean. That's you guys. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, there's definitely like a side to you guys that is caring and empathetic for others, okay? I feel like you guys can read people really well. And, you know, you, you guys are the type that are very observant intelligent you could scan a room get a read on people immediately i already kind of know like who you would vibe with who you who you don't vibe with okay and i'm getting a little deep here as far as that goes i don't necessarily know that your person knows that about you i feel like on some level but as far as like you know how what they think of you it's like they definitely see you as being somebody fierce okay and like a boss you know you guys are you do have like an alpha personality all right let's take a look even further okay so we have stylish this person sees you guys as being like very stylish very aesthetically like put together like whatever color combination and things that you wear it's like it all looks good and like you just look well put together is what I'm seeing. You know, I just get like, kind of getting like a black and white vibe here, which is interesting because I love that look too. So, you know, like long boots, a blazer, you know, um, just somebody, you come across as being classy yeah, I, I mean, you guys, you definitely could wear anything and make it look good, but I do feel like you have this particular style to you. It's actually interesting. I'm getting kind of like, you could be like a city girl or city boy. You don't have to be. I'm just getting like some kind, something about your style that looks like you are, even if you're not. Like it gives that impression. All right, so we had some message cards come out too, as far as what they think of you. They say, I knew the minute I saw you. Okay, so this was definitely instant for this person as well. This mutual interest. I feel like this person is the type though that they may they might not like give it away, okay? 
They might have a poker face. They might keep their feelings on the low. They're the type that could still interact with somebody, you know, and keep it professional or something, especially if this is within the workplace. Even if it's not, though, this person likes to kind of like not show their hand, so to speak. Not right away, not until they get like a definite sign from you that this is what you want as well. But, you know, I'm spilling the tea on them. They say, I knew the minute I saw you. They say, now I can't get enough of you. Okay, so they are, they're digging your style, your vibe. And just like, there's something about the way that you are that they're not, they don't get that from just anybody else. And they love interacting with you. They love being in your presence is what I'm seeing with that. In fact, to go even off that further, I have my card, Ashanti, only you. You got them doing things they never do. Okay, so when I see that, that tells me that your crush might be speaking different. They might be dressing different. Okay, becoming more animate, you know, to kind of like get your attention. Like that's all like subconscious even. I don't even know that they're consciously aware of it. You guys, like your overall energy does come across like an Aries, okay? And it makes sense because I got real fiery vibes with the shark card here. So whether you're an Aries or not, it doesn't matter. The point is, it's like you're very ambitious, you're driven, you have these goals, okay? You're, you're slaying basically, okay? Boss babe or boss dude that's slaying and, you know, it's like... You're just blazing down this path is what I'm seeing and you definitely are looking for somebody else who's also doing the same thing. So you kind of have that vibe like you're either in or you're in the way. Okay, <laughs> that's just like what's coming through. Um, but yeah, and you know, you can be blunt and that goes back to the whole no nonsense way that you guys operate from, you know, like you're true to yourself and you expect others to either vibe with that or you know it's like what are we doing you know that kind of feeling like you don't have time to waste basically and yeah I do see you being blunt I do see you liking some kind of like movement okay that could be literal you could literally like movement and physical activities that could be your form of meditation right how you get centered and where you operate from your best self but for those of you that that doesn't quite resonate with, what I'm getting even more so than that is like you like movement in life, you like moving forward, you like, you know, like elevating, like getting things done and like doing amazing at whatever it is that you're doing, you know? So there is a doing theme with you guys, with the Aries here. You're also competitive and I think you bring out the competitive side of others. You just, you have this like limelight vibe to you where even if you're not literally in the spotlight, it's like you live life like you're in the spotlight. And that could be like, maybe you post certain things that highlight like, that showcase like the highlight moments of your life, okay? And it just, you just have the star factor about you, okay? Getting like star card vibes and six of wands with you guys, with this Aries card here. So I do feel like a lot of people look up to you. It could be your success, but even more so than that, I feel like it's like who you are along the way to that success. That's interesting. So this went from your crush to like people in general, but I mean, it does kind of go hand in hand though. All right, so we also have a few different things coming through here where, okay, there is a part of this connection though where I do feel like this person feels like, you know, you're both on the same page one minute and then the next minute. I almost get this feeling of like you guys back off or they back off, okay, and it's like a, a bit confusing and the card, we're two worlds apart, can't reach to your heart came through. So I do feel like there's times where there's a lack of communication or it's kind of like they feel like they're getting mixed signals from you and I do feel like that's because a part of you is guarded Okay, you've been hurt in the past and you're like, I'm not going to be anybody's fool. So you're both kind of mirroring this back to each other where it's like you feel like if you don't get that definite sign that the other is truly mutually interested, it's like you're both kind of playing this low key, I'm keeping my feelings on the low 
type of game and I don't mean it to be like a game but it's like what you two are both doing you know so I do see that there is this mutual interest but at the same time it's like nobody wants to get hurt and everybody wants the other to show their interest first like make it obvious okay this was really interesting so we have these two cards with chick eggs okay so that tells me two different things or a few different things one i'm getting that overall this does feel like a newer connection if it's not it means it's gonna be like a reborn connection okay so it's gonna seem brand new i'm also getting you know with this it's kind of like you guys get this person feeling like anything is possible okay like literally like life feels magical with you guys and they feel like the sky is the limit basically okay the third thing that was coming through for some of you is that i'm honestly getting this could be like your baby daddy or mama okay like you guys could have a kid together or you're going to okay i'm just gonna put that out there because i got both of these cards that came out with that so only take what resonates with that Hey, group number one, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys. Hey, group number two. Okay, so what does your crush think about you right now? Okay, so first let's take a look at the overall energy dynamic between you guys. All right, so we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So with love yourself first, you know, this is definitely a card about when you love yourself and put yourself first, like that's not selfish. That's more like you're filling your cup up so you can help to fill others, okay? And then you come from this place then that isn't needy you know it's more like you're whole and complete and this is not to say that you guys aren't already doing that I feel like you are it's just a reminder you know when you start to feel out of balance or like you're constantly seeking or wanting something from somebody else instead of giving yourself that thing first okay and then it like puts you in alignment with you know things to unfold more naturally and like whatever is right for you you know like if this connection isn't then it's gonna fall away but if it is then it's gonna happen you know you make room for it to happen but with passion okay I do see this instant spark this instant chemistry between you guys okay and like a magnetic pull towards each other so there is definitely this mutual interest and curiosity and you know a wanting to get to know each other and being attracted to each other okay so let's take a look further with my cards all right so we have leo and cancer came out so i feel like these two definitely display like these two dominant ways that your crush sees you okay so with the leo card this is definitely when your personality is feeling bold, okay, and like animated and passionate about whatever it is that they're talking about or doing, okay, it's like you come alive. And I feel like, you know, it's, it's contagious. It makes your crush feel like excited for life or for whatever it is that they want to, you know, dive into. It's like you re-spark like this it's like you guys you inspire your crush like to remember like what it is about life that they enjoy you know like not only is that like this attractive energy for you but it's like they come alive again you know they feel that inner joy just for being who they are and you know whatever it is that they're interested in and what they like to do is just like re-spark that interest is re-sparked within them because of you okay and then the cancer side of you is more of the nurturing empathetic you know 
I'm there for you type of energy like I have a heart you know I mean well like a true friend okay so going off the Leo side of you you know with how they see you you guys have a very bold gaze and it can make people look away okay there's an intensity with you okay so I'm, I am getting like fierce you guys can be fierce okay but it's like you're fierce with a heart you know with cancer here you can also come across like a baddie with Leo but like an innocent baddie with cancer so you guys have this amazing blend to you what your crush how they see you they love this like this amazing blend like you have a unique blend to you basically you do come across like you're independent intelligent observant you know just kind of like cool without even trying you know you have this vibe i don't need no man or woman so it's kind of like those that you do give attention to they feel special okay kind of like you give people this feeling when you when you give people the time of day they feel like yes like this person is choosing me in this moment yeah group one group two oh my gosh i'm calling you like number one like you just show up like you're number one like you're people's favorite I feel like this is like I'm kind of tapping into many people who are crushing on you so let me zero it in to the main person your crush what they think about that yeah so if you see like your crush like avoiding eye contact this is why like you you just have this intense bold look and energy to you so it is it's a good thing though like they might kind of get intimidated but it's like in a good way like they're definitely interested they okay this kind of makes it to where people want to step up their game in order to approach you in order to make eye contact with you okay they like want to be their most confident self you know So even though I do feel like sometimes like, you know, with Leo and Cancer, you might show how you feel. There's also this concealment though. Okay, so it's interesting. Group two, you guys are an enigma, okay? Like you definitely have like kind of contradictory things going on, but they work in this amazing blend, okay? It's like temperance vibes here. It's like on one hand, like you do have this very playful, lighthearted, carefree vibe to you that, you know, you could be nat you're naturally charming. Like the way you talk is like fun and feisty, but in a playful way that it can come across as being kind of flirty, even if you're not really flirting with people. But that's like how fun interacting with you is. So it's like on one hand, people think they got a shot, but then on the other hand, they're not sure because you don't totally reveal what you're feeling so you do still have that mysterious air about you and it just leaves people wanting more okay namely your crush yeah so going off the leo side to you guys you definitely come across like you love your freedom you're a free spirit you know you're true to yourself and you go wherever inspiration takes you basically but then with the cancer side, you also come across like a sweetheart, you know, kind of a more innocent vibe. Like I said, like baddie, innocent, innocent baddie. <laughs> All right. All right, we have some message cards that came through as far as what your crush thinks about you right now. They say, I have never felt so strongly about someone that I just met. Okay, and I feel like this really takes this person aback because I'm getting the impression that this person that your crush is like the type that logic rules them overall. That's how they stay, you know, cool, cool, calm and collected and very focused individual, especially on their goals, I feel, or whatever it is that they do for a living. And if you came in and you rocked all that, you shook it all up. Okay. It's kind of like the tower energy, but a more playful, you know, lighthearted tower energy. Um, but yeah, like a whirlwind of energy, though, where you, this person thought they knew where things were going and you show up and they're like, whoa, okay. Like you lit up their mind, you rocked their world energetically. 
and they feel some type of way, you know, this passion, this straw to you, and they love like this animated go-getter self, and yet this sweet, innocent vibe, and the independence, like you exude all like the traits that they were looking for in a person. That's what I'm seeing with the seahorse, okay? Like definite, you have the potential to be that person, their person, you know, the one. But because it's a newer connection, right, we're keeping it like, they're like, okay, definitely crushing on group two, you know? But yeah, that's interesting. Like this person's so logical, like they try to always keep things in check for themselves. They're like, is this even practical? Like, why do I feel this type of way when I barely know you? Okay, even if you two have like known each other, it's like, it's still like has that newer feeling because maybe you haven't talked a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? They say, you make me want to be a better person, okay? You guys also might be saying two, two, two a lot. But, um, yeah, like I said, there's this definite inspiration element to you guys where they feel like, wow, like, life just appears more intriguing now that you're in their life, okay? It's like their whole perspective on things has flipped in a good way. It's a little strange for this person because it's definitely, like, being in the unknown like they're not you know it's like thinking you know how things are how your life is looking and then all of a sudden something kind of changes that and it, it's a good thing like they feel more exhilarated and they're more like intrigued for life but at the same time they're kind of like this is kind of it's like scary in a good way you know what i'm saying like being in the unknown kind of got that full like energy like taking a leap of faith into the unknown into you know like making a change like before it was like their life was kind of comfortable but it wasn't that inspiring and now it's like uncomfortable because of so much change and newness but it's way more inspiring with this card I'm actually getting a few different things I feel like this person definitely wonders like when they're not around you like what are you up to you know what are you doing do you feel the same do you miss them like I get all these questions running through this person's mind and their curiosity's just peaked okay and I'm just feeling like this person just wants to know like how are you outside of wherever it is that they see you and you know what is your life like like all of a sudden I'm just getting like this person wants to know everything about you okay like there's definitely this feeling of wanting to get to know you better as well as I'm getting like just cuddling with you and relaxing and like being you know it's kind of like just like watching something and cuddling like this person just wants to feel like cozy with you you know what I mean but not even taking it to the next level with that just like literally they just want to hold you and get to know you is what I'm feeling so it's a real sweet vibe coming through okay group number two this is what I see for you guys if this resonates let me know in the comments and if it does don't forget to give it a like thank you all so much for being here bye guys hey group number three okay so what does your crush think about you right now all right so first let's take a look at the overall energy dynamic between you guys okay so we have you deserve love you are lovable and wedding this situation involves marriage okay so the you deserve love, you are lovable. What comes to me when I see that is that, you know, it's like you've got to have that realization, group three, that you are lovable, okay? It's time to really let go of the past and just know that, you know, learn from any mistakes so you can tap into that lovableness that you are, you know, and move forward with this new renewed like perspective and energy as far as love goes okay and with that I feel like it's got this kind of feeling where if this person is the person for you when you tap into that like it's either going to become something naturally or it's not okay 
So when we tap into our worth, it's like it really does set the tone vibrationally that, you know, this if this is the person, it's going to happen. And if it's not, it's not, you know. But it does still have to unfold in its own time, though. OK. All right. But with that being said, I, I'm not getting that. It's not that you guys aren't tapping into that. It's just kind of a reminder for like times when, you know, you might slip into, you know, too focused on the other person and not focused on you. OK, so sometimes it's almost like we can spend this time wondering, like, are they into me when it's kind of like, are we questioning? Are we into them? Like, is this our person? You know, would this be right? All right. So either way. I do see, you know, with the wedding card though, this does have a feeling that it's a general reading, so it's gonna be different for all of you, but if this crush is on the same page, I do see it elevating to something more, okay? Yes, it's always possible that it could be a wedding for some of you, but let's keep it more on the side of like next level commitment, okay? So like if you guys are talking, it could go to dating. You know, if you're dating, it could go to relationship. If you're in a relationship, it could go to wedding. Okay. That's what I'm seeing with that. All right. So we start off with my opposite card here. Group three. I feel like I've been getting that a lot for you guys lately. So with that, you know, what I'm seeing is that there's definitely something that's coming across you know with you two as being like the opposite of each other. So they, your crush sees that, you know. But, you know, I'm actually getting, though, for once, like, it actually works in your guys' favor. Like, I feel like you two are drawn to each other because of this opposite thing, okay? And it could be personalities, it could be interest, it could be, you know, it's going to be different for all of you. There is a factor coming through where there could be, like, kind of a major opposite, okay? like a cultural or a background difference, um, beliefs, okay? But I'm actually getting even more than that. It's gonna be some kind of like, we're opposites in some way when it comes to something. But it doesn't seem to matter with this reading, okay? So your crush is not deterred by that. In fact, I'm getting that they feel like it was destiny that they met you, okay? It's possible for some of you, like they dreamt of you before they met you so i kind of had like this divine feeling to it like a divine unfolding there might have been synchronicities before you two started you know before you met or before you started actually talking there's just some kind of like signs and synchronicities is coming through with this destiny card here okay they see you guys as being like a libra okay like i'm getting somebody who You hold yourself high. You have a classiness to you, okay? You come across like you're well put together. <laughs> Whether you feel like you are or you're not, it's like, that's what they think when they think about you. You might be into materialism a bit. Like you like the finer things in life. I feel like you like to go out. Some of you like to go out. I do think you like to be wined and dined though. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting a very interesting vibe here or this is your person. Like they're definitely want to take you out and show you off is what I'm seeing. But yeah, you guys definitely come across as being classy though. I do kind of get the impression though. This person kind of wants to like shower you with gifts and like post pics with you being out together. That's interesting. Your crush loves your guys' eyes, okay? I feel like they could just stare into them for like ever. They get lost in them. They think they're just gorgeous or handsome. You guys do come across like a rebel. I find that interesting that I get this from my group threes a lot. You definitely have this vibe of like, I'm not gonna do what I'm told, but it's not like a defiance. It's more like you being true to yourself, okay? And I feel like you just like to do things your way, okay? You're very unconventional in that way. Your person could be, your crush could be more of a rule follower. So that could also be like what's kind of opposite between you guys. 
but again like it works it's kind of like they get you to be a bit more structured in ways and you get them to like be more outside the box okay i'm just seeing something about your guys's opposites actually kind of complement each other and like bounce you out so it works for you guys okay so there is definitely this mutual attraction between you guys okay i do feel like it's more than looks definitely started off as looks but like you guys just there's this magnetic pull and draw to each other okay and it's looks personality vibe energy all the above okay like you both definitely have like this interesting connectedness okay it's like a 5d connectedness i do feel like you guys know what each other are like thinking and feeling even if you haven't communicated with each other it could be a connection through songs okay it's like you two know like when each other are thinking about each other or missing each other there is something coming across though whereas this person they do see you as being kind of a runner, okay? And what's coming to me about that is it's kind of like you guys, you might have like kind of a thing about commitment. Like it's hard for you to commit, even if you're really interested or like somebody, okay? In fact, I'm getting this, the weekend song, like, I don't know why I run away. Do, 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 do. Okay. So yeah, you guys, I'm getting, okay, but group three, you and your crush might have actually like given this a go, okay, I'm getting a bit of a on again, off again vibe with you guys, and if you haven't actually given this a go, then maybe it's in regards to talking or showing interest, okay, and in fact, with that, I have my earth card, one minute this person seems like they're on the same page, then they shift and you don't hear from them, okay, ignore that part, that doesn't go with you guys unless it does like there if you guys were involved with each other there could be the thought has too much damage happened and you're both weighing this but without but if this is a newer connection then the beginning is what this is about so there's definitely a back and forth vibe between you and this person like one minute you and your crush think you're both interested in the next minute you don't so you know communication could be inconsistent or like one minute you two are talking a certain way and then the next minute it's more cold and aloof okay i'm definitely getting a mutual interest here though so that's interesting that there's such a like back and forth on again off again vibe with you two and again though you two could have given this somewhat of a go and like something didn't quite take off even though the interest and connectedness is still there in fact this also kind of like so they say you make me feel brand new okay so i feel like this person absolutely loves how they feel like you know being them in your presence like you just there's something so authentic about you guys that it just makes anyone else feel like you know they can be their authentic self and I feel like there's nothing more that people really want to be able to do and to express themselves freely, you know, and creatively. And it's like they love that about this connection with you and they want more of that. Like, I don't feel like they feel that with just anybody. But at the same time, we have, I wonder if you are happy without me, okay? So that is also like what gives me the impression that it's possible you and your crush were somewhat involved with each other. But if you weren't, then they're just kind of wondering, like, you know, like, they wonder if it's mutual. Like, do you feel brand new in their presence? Like, anything is possible? Like, your best self? And are you happy, like, when you two aren't seeing each other or when you're not communicating? Okay, because they feel like they're getting to this feeling where, you know, if they feel this way, then without you, they're like... Well, now what? You know, and they wonder, like, do you feel the same? I feel like when you two, you know, they love conversations with you. I feel like they're witty, they're fun, they're playful. 
like I said, like you two just bring out this side of each other that feels like your best selves are coming through. And, you know, you do kind of, there's definitely a lot of air sign vibes here. So you both could be air signs or have it strong in your chart. I just feel like conversations are definitely mentally stimulating. You two can go deep. And if you haven't really, you know, had these conversations, like that's how it would be for you guys. So I just do see like a lot of expanding if you guys can get past whatever it is that's given this on and off again vibe for you two. Yeah, and with my turtle card here, I do see that this is kind of a slower moving connection. So that's interesting. But I also see that, that you know, this kind of is like the Knight of Pentacles card. Like it's a slower moving energy between you guys but at the same time it is moving forward and it is deliberate okay so it's almost like this person might one of you takes longer to open up to the other okay but it's like when you do open up it's legit it's for real it's like not what you would just tell anybody okay so it's like got a slower moving energy but it's more real than that quick stuff you know, that you both might be used to. So just because it's unfolding slower than what you're used to doesn't mean it's not legit. And it doesn't mean you two aren't on the same page. Because I feel like you are. It's just you're both kind of testing the waters right now. So I'm also getting the other message that's coming through for you guys is that just because your love languages aren't the same, doesn't mean they're not legit okay it's just really about trusting in the unfolding and being open-minded that just because somebody doesn't do things the way you do it or as quick as you do it doesn't mean that they're not interested okay group number three this is what i see for you guys if this resonates let me know in the comments and if it does don't forget to give it a like thank you all so much for being here bye guys